Um, I'm going to spend just a couple minutes just uh, on the history of this and putting this in context, and then we'll actually dive into the music a little bit. A few things about Debussy. I'm sure many of us have a background with him, but uh, he is one of our most uh, requested uh, topics to cover. So this is, this is a really fun one to dive into. Um, Debussy, French composer, 1862 to 1918. He died literally uh, 100 years ago. This is his, the centennial of his death, I guess. Um, and he began as a pianist, and then over time he kind of gave up the piano and, and moved more towards just composing. He was a young prodigy. He attended the, the Conservatoire de Paris, um, and he took a long time to develop his style. He lived um, 50, 55 years, and he had about 30 years of active composition. Um, and he developed slowly. He really achieved international fame in 1902 with the uh, Peleus at Melisande, which is his only completed opera. By the way, uh, we know him today. We would call him an impressionist composer. He was aware of this label, and he rebelled against it. because He was, he was a kind of headstrong guy, and he, he did not believe he should be labeled like that. He was a composer. So, Sounds like another uh, impressionist composer uh, we, we might have heard of. Such as? Uh, Ravel? Yeah, Ravel would probably r rebel against that label, too. Well, for, ju just in terms of being very uh, str strong-headed and... Uh -huh. and uh, in a different direction, yeah. Yeah. For sure. So these are some of the works that we know uh, Debussy best for. And these are in chronological order. I just made a list. The, the De Arabesques, uh, the Sweet Bergamesque, String Quartet, The Prelude, which is one of his most famous, um, Nocturnes for Orchestra, Pour le Piano, Peleas, Mask for Piano, Le Joyeuse, La Mer, which we're going to look at today, Children's Corner, The First Rhapsody for Piano and Clarinet, which I think may have been his only rhapsody. I can't remember if there's a second. And he also composed many songs, solo, piece, solo pieces, piano pieces. Um, so very well known for those things. So now on to La Mer in particular. Uh, it was written from 1903 to 1905, premiered in 1905, and then had, had its US premiere in 1907. It was not well received at first, even by uh, fans of, of Debussy's work. But a few years later, it started to achieve some popularity. It is a bit of a sequel to his Nocturnes, which are another three-movement uh, symphonic-esque piece, although he didn't want it to be a symphony. He was, he was very, he wanted to be his own guy, and he didn't really want to fit into those classical forms. Um, he's a slow writer. It was written while he was going through a divorce, and he specifically drew in for, uh, inspiration more from art than reality. Quote, he preferred the seascapes available in painting and literature to the physical sea. So I, I found a few analogies between that and the planets when we were talking about that. Uh, we did a long-form study of the planets, and um, Holst was not thinking of the planets as we see them today. He was thinking of astrology. That was his concept back then. And kind of analogous to how, how Debussy is looking at the sea here. It's 23 minutes long in three movements. And so we're going to start with the first movement today. Great quote I found from the man himself. Music is the expression of the movement of the waters, the play of curves described by changing breezes. 